let's talk about like new to PNC, right? Yep. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna take the PNC test, yep. the exam. Um, did you pass the first time? No, I did not. Okay. I'm a horrible test taker. Did, did you, are you guys horrible test takers too? You guys yeah. watching? Okay, uh, did, did you pass the second time? I did not. Did third. you pass the third time? Third time. We both passed the third time. Now I've never taken the PNC, just life and health. Yep. You've taken the PNC. Yep. Uh, we both failed twice, mm -hmm. right? So it's okay if you fail the first time or the second yep. time, okay? Quick, I, quick tip. Yeah. Go to the class, okay? The class is the number one way to get licensed fast. They give you all the Ooh. answers to the test. And then you test like the following weekend or whatever it is. And so you can pay to go to a class. You can pay to go to class. It's like, now granted, this is where a lot of people get turned off. Yeah. It's like $300. But 99.5% pass rate on the first try. Everybody I've sent through the class has never failed. Wow. After they always pass on the first well, try. Well, dang, I wish you had told me that 10 years ago, right? 11 years ago. And, and if you fail, you get your money back. That's how that's how guaranteed it is. So go to the take class. the class. Take the class. Yep. Get in the room. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. What's some other tips on passing the the state ex insurance exam? Um, some other tips. Uh, man, really. I mean, that test or the the classes that that's it's the huge. number one. Okay. You go and then they like for me. I did self study. Don't do self study. I did um, too. It was horrible. So much harder. Um, they give you such an overload of information and only ask you half of it. And yep. half the time, actually what I found is That's also, a big problem, by the way. If you don't know it, mark it and move on. I always struggled with that because I didn't want to move on to the next question mm. without answering the one before. But then really in turn, I found that they actually ask you the same question multiple times, just word it differently, and they try to kind of trick you up on that. So if I didn't know it right out the gate, mark it, come back to it. That's smart. I would read a question that would be worded in a way that I understood, and I'm like, ooh, that's yeah, that's yeah. like that one. So then I could go Joe's back. Joe's helping you cheat the test right yeah, now, kinda. okay? Yeah. Hack the system. Hack it. Break mark, the mark code. Mark it, move on, come back. That's good. Mark it, move on, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you take it, uh, because I, I, I do notice that a lot. It's a big problem, like a whole overload of information. I don't know what to do. I got a lot of, de there's a lot of details involved. Yeah. And and some, a lot of times they give you too much information. So it sounds like the class gives you exactly what you need to know. Literally line by line. Which is awesome. Yep. Okay. We're, not, we're not pitching or selling the class. We don't even have a discount code for a class. Just no. go take the Maybe class. I should. Maybe okay. I should. I don't know. You probably should, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty good. I should. Dylan, just throw one in there. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Um, my idea. <laughs> so as, as far as, so, so, so then they go and take the test. Okay, let's mm -hmm. talk about the day of. Okay, I didn't know we were gonna get into this, but this is good though, isn't it? Because um, we have a lot of new people that are like thinking about getting the business, and they're, yeah. they, they're like, "Dude, I want to be Joe Camper when I'm 26." Some of them are like 96 right now instead, but not too um, late. Not too late. That's never too late. Um, the day of the test, are there's like some things to get in the right headspace, or there's any things that you did um, other than just going and taking the test. <laughs> so this is really weird. I don't know if it works, but a substitute teacher of mine back in like fifth grade told me it works. Uh, Mr. Wilson, okay. who was actually a millionaire, which I found out after the fact, he won the lottery and had no idea, what? didn't show it at all, was still a substitute Didn't talk teacher. about it. Nothing at all. Wow. And he said... It'd be hard for I, me not to tell people if I won the lottery, right? And he, Everybody would and, know and if and Joe you, Camper won the lottery. Oh, yeah, you definitely yeah. would. I'd have probably like a Redwood... I don't know, I'm a big Nissan GTR. We'll get there, but oh, have a big man. old Redwood logo on that thing. You need one of those. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. When are you going to get one? Uh, that's my, let's, I let's, think that's, let's proclaim it. I was looking my, at my old, that's my, old goal book today. I'm thinking of my blue card. Uh, that's my 10 year. Oh, so you, you ten years. that before 10 years. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if I really like, what I feel like that's when I just it. have the money where it's like, yeah. you know, I'll just get just a GTR. Extra. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, so Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wilson said the night before a test, sleep with an apple in your room and you'll do better. And I was just like. I'm not sure, but I have to pass oh. this, otherwise I'm not going to keep my job. So I was like, I'm doing anything at this point. Like, and you still failed? No, I, this was this was my when I you actually finally passed. used the apple and I you used passed. the apple. I, I was like, I don't know what to do. Did you take a bite? It just no, sat there just, on the you nightstand. Just put it next to your bed on a nightstand. I don't, I don't know. There's something. I mean, <laughs> this somebody is the Google weirdest it, look it up. exam advice ever. And I I just did that, and then man, I just I mean, I'm talking three <laughs> days in a row, just line by line, really more so, like I'm a bad test taker, so I just memorized everything. And I went yep. and write it down, just like we do with our goals. Yeah, write it yeah. down, write it down, write it down, That's write right. it down. Just really get it up here. Huh, so you guys I, are hearing more about the goals yeah. today, huh? Mm -hmm. And so I just wrote it down, had an apple in my room, went. Did confidence. you take the apple with you? No, left it. Okay. Left it. Just supposed to sl sleep with it next okay. to you. <laughs> in the, in the bed like, beside you. Yeah, like I'm just like, okay, cool, man. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. Mr. Wilson said to do it. It worked. He won the lottery, so must work, right? <laughs> um, and yeah, and then went and took it. Just went in with real like confidence. Yeah. And just knowing that do not second guess myself because I will 
I will do that and I'll fail the test. That's right. Just mark it, move on, come I back like to that. it. Um, I like that. And then the apple. Don't forget the apple. Do you listen to music on the way when you're going to take it? Yeah, I listen to, uh, oh, what was that? So my, so I know what I started with. Uh, it was Money for Nothing with Dire Straits. Um, I just love the <laughs> intro to that song. We're, get, like, we're getting <laughs> deep in this exam yeah. prep here. Yeah, no, it, it really was. That was always my first song because it got me going. And then I, uh, J. Cole. J. Cole's my favorite rapper. So. Okay. Yeah. A little J. Cole. Yeah. I like it, man. Uh, good. And okay. Passed. So, so you showed up, you passed. Yep. Uh, did they tell you did they tell you what you get or just passed? Yeah, so they they tell you whether you get your test results right after you leave the room. And I was the first one done. Does it say a percentage? No. It just tells you if you pass. Yeah, that's what I thought. In yep. Missouri it's just pass. And I'm like, yep. I kinda wanna know. Okay, was but, it by but, one or two? But they don't or... want you to use it when you go start selling and be like, hey, um, I got a 97 on the test. What did that agent get? Yeah, right. I don't want you to start like competing with, you know. Well, what's, what's funny about the test is, and my boss at the time had told me this, you don't use any of that lingo yeah. or that link. I mean, you will like with homeowners forms or like, you know, po your policy sure. forms. You may know Not that within your policy though. jackets. But yeah, it's like you talk about homeowners insurance or condo insurance or That's not right. an HO4, HO6 or an HO5 or whatever. Right. And it's like nobody uses that. But once you pass it, like then you're done. And it's like, just yeah. don't freaking miss your CE, guys. That's <laughs> like, right. That's do right. your CE so you don't have to retest because, yeah, it. I would not want to do that again. Um, any other tips for, like, once you get the exam? Just the, man, that class. Okay. It's a guarantee, right? I mean, we that's talk right. about it all the time. Invest. Yep. Invest, and there's no better time than to invest in the start yes. so that you're not wasting time trying to get licensed when you know that it's a guarantee, and if not, you get your money back. Dude, that's so good. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Well, I quote probably close to $2 million in trucking insurance every month. Yeah. Close to $2 million trucking a month Just you're trucking. quoting. Yeah. Now, granted, that's extremely high for anybody who knows trucking. Which, don't start in trucking. Get your feet wet with the personal lines, and then when you're ready for trucking, you...